the need for the education of legal experts in the region of Slavonia and Baranja was recognized as early as the 1960s. In 1961, when under the supervision of the Faculty of Law of Zagreb University, a remote study of law in Osijek was founded. The Faculty of Law was officially established on 22nd of December 1975 and is one of the oldest higher education institutions within the Josip Juraj Stosmaier University of Osijek. The Faculty of Law in Osijek is organized into 10 chairs, each comprising mutually related subjects, with the other organizational units being the Library, Secretariat, Law and Economics Clinic, Green Law Clinic, Law Clinic Osijek Pro Bono, and the Lifelong Learning and Foreign Languages section. The mission of the Faculty of Law Osijek from its foundation in 1975 is to systematically develop and improve individuals as well as the entire community. Efforts done so far have resulted in the education of generations of excellent jurists, which have set up their careers all the way to the top levels of legislative, executive and judicial branches of power, as well as in the respective fields of science and higher education. So far, until the 30th September 2020, a total number of 9,216 have successfully finished their education in various study programs at the Faculty of Law. The Faculty of Law Osijek performs its mission in four locations in the city of Osijek. The priority is the construction of the new facility at the Faculty of Law on the university campus. For the prospective location in the western part of the university campus, all the necessary special conditions of the immovable cultural heritage have been obtained, while the construction of the new building of the faculty is incorporated in the strategic program of the Faculty of Law Osijek for the period of 2020 to 2025. In accordance with the statute of the Faculty of Law Osijek, its governing body consists of the Dean and three Vice Deans. Together with the Dean, the Faculty is governed by the Council of Faculty, composed of teachers, representatives of non-teaching staff employed at the Faculty, and of student delegates. The Faculty has a total of 55 employees in scientific teaching, teaching, and expert titles. The schematics of the employees in the academic year 2019 to 2020 is the following. 14 full professors, 17 associate professors, 16 assistant professors, one postdoctoral candidate, four senior lecturers, four assistants, and one lecturer. The faculty has a relatively young teaching staff. Average age is 45, which may seem as a shortcoming in the short term, but in the long term, it is a strength and a guarantee for the progress of the faculty. The faculty has organized the Secretariat, Department in Central Service, as an organizational unit which completes legal, expert administrative, financial accounting affairs, quality advancement and assurance processes, services regarding each student issues, technical and additional work at the faculty, and all other work related to the successful functioning of the faculty. The library is an organizational unit which deals with library information tasks and matters related to teaching, scientific research, and expert needs of the faculty. The equipment of the library and IT infrastructure are of the highest quality. Library has a reading room for students and teachers, a lending section, and a library fund of approximately 38,500 volumes obtained by purchase, gift, exchange, and editions published by the faculty itself. A collection of 400 diverse journals and official publications tracks down the latest and most up-to-date sources of information in listed fields, and they are available in different media platforms. The faculty's IT department has a computer classroom customized to meet the students' needs. A total number of available computers in the computer classrooms is 20. 
and they can also be used after classes. Furthermore, the computer classroom is equipped with an LCD projector and all needed digital equipment, as well as web cameras for online courses. Teachers and students can log in any of the computers at the faculty by means of their electronic identity. Students can use faculty resources on their private laptops, tablets and smartphones via a wireless network. The faculty is dedicated to improving the professional competencies of its employees, which is why workshops and seminars are regularly held aimed at professional development of its own employees. The faculty is connected with the judicial and economic community and, as a regional centre of legal excellence, regularly organises events in order to ensure the transfer of knowledge to the local community. Contemporary judicial education is inconceivable without practice, which can have different forms, and one of them is the clinical education. Having in mind the fact that a jurist with a university's degree is much more recognised on the labour market, the Faculty of Law OSIEC gives its students the possibility to participate in one of three active legal clinics. Law and Economics Clinic, Legal Clinic RCEC Pro Bono, and Green Legal Clinic, which are units of the Faculty for Organization and Application of Clinical Teaching. In order to ensure an open and transparent mode of moulding opinions about all the major issues that concern the Faculty, its management conducts regular consultations with Chair Presidents during so-called Expanded Expert Sessions. For the time being, the faculty has an overall 51 signed Erasmus Plus contracts on the exchange with foreign institutes of higher education. When it comes to bilateral international cooperation with European and international universities, it is also substantially growing. In order to bolster the mobility of teachers, expert staff and students, the faculty adopted its own ordinance about the Erasmus Plus program of international mobility of students and the Erasmus Plus Protocol of Inward and Outward Student Mobility. The faculty established an independent quality assurance office and the Commission for Quality. The Commission has sessions on a regular basis and announces its recommendations to the management of the faculty which should serve as a guideline to improve the quality of teaching and scientific activities. The Quality Assurance Office makes a work plan with monitoring its implementation for every single academic year. The Quality Assurance Office also conducts an internal student survey, self-evaluation of teachers and summary of exam schedule, paying special attention to track down success and turnout rates of students in exams. <music>